haters, I'll die for my hitters. Fuck all them haters. Bitch, I'm down with them hitters, and I'm down for the cause. Fist in the air when I'm rapping that star. I be smoking that weed like Snoop Doggy Dog and the homie Fat Boy. Got that Curry County wall. And everywhere I go, I got prospect of death. That's my DJ. He'll play anywhere. Pass me the mic and I'll get the club lit. Put them on their back like the lines on bricks. Make them bleed is the motto that I live by. Shoot an eagle down, make sure it don't fly. Them haters try to run, but them haters get high. They think they're the giants, but they some small fries. Step to them boys and you're gonna get hurt. We're gonna put them on down, we're gonna put them in the dirt. Got that hard hitter logo on my t-shirt. That gray, that white, that blue, put in work. And when I hit your city, I got all my hitters with me. Just in case that hater try to get me. All them haters know that we the realest. That's why I'm down for my motherfucking hitters. Fuck all them haters, cause I'm down for my hitters. Fuck all them haters, cause I'm down for my hitters. Fuck all them haters, I'll ride for my hitters. I'll die for my hitters. Fuck all them haters. Fuck all them haters, cause I'm down for my hitters. What? You ain't heard, strong boy, ride with them hitters. Rep the dub on my side with my hitters. Seven forever, rest in peace and chief. Yeah, that be my hitter. Shout out to Coach and Duke for coming up with the move. Me call the hard hitters. If you got some pests in the sky, don't shoot now, bird. Call the bird gang killer. I be the in a hurry. Blood to feather everywhere. Two fingers flipping off Peter. If you see an eagle in the sky, shoot him down. Yeah, we don't care. If you want some beef, go to H-Town. Get that bull with the star up in his eye. I be a pescatarian, only eating poultry and fish. Someone call a dolphin, tell him that they made my list. Here, fishy, fishy, shark and pestle water. You see that tip of the stalk? That be that shark's fin. Let the feet and rinse it again. Fish fry, Kentucky fried, finger licking good either way. This be a hard hit of party, so we eat good every day. Hey. Shit. Let me tell you, man. You know what, man? That 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 dolphin line at the end of that one <laughs> that had me laughing. I almost missed my cue. <laughs> ah. Hey man, shout out to them worldwide hard hitters movement DFW Starboy in the building with Macumba over there. That's the fresh exclusive type of stuff that you get at the built different group here, man. Shout out to them hard hitters, man. Welcome everybody to the show, baby. Shout out to haters, shout out to the haters right here, definitely. What is up, everybody? Welcome back. We're uh, we're hanging out here at the uh, the Built Different group today. Normally, we'll stream we're streaming to some other locations, but we're trying to to localize today to try and just get a get a couple different messages out. Most of the time, we we use Square Groupers not so much as a as a Cowboys form or anything like that. But we're definitely going to lace today's content with some Cowboys content. We've got a big Cowboy figure coming here at the end of the show. So uh, you know we got we got a couple things that are going to be, be leaning a little bit towards the, uh, the the cowboy side of things, but we're staying cannabis, we're staying current, we're staying information. It's all going to be the same. BG, anything you want to say, man? Yeah, you know we're not just a bunch of cowboy homers. You know what I mean? We are talking to the other thirty-one NFL fan bases. Like we got some talented cowboy fans, and what I'm really trying to see, like what y'all post, you know what I mean, on Facebook, trying to see some. As for a friend, I'm trying to see does the other 31 got some talent, some real talent, not some mean dealers. You know what I mean? Some folks with some real artistic talent. You know what I mean? Like them hard hitters from the DFW. So shout out Starboy and Macumba, man. Y'all know who it is. That's exclusive. Down for my hitters right here on the BDG Network. Yeah, today we're gonna we got a, we got a, a little bit of a special guest here happening at the end. At the uh, I, I'm somewhere around the last little bit of the show, we're gonna. We're going to show you how to a roll a couple different ways. There's all kinds of different folks that do all kinds of different things when it comes to their cannabis. I've got folks who who won't smoke at anything but a glass piece. Some of y'all won't hit anything but a bong. Some of y'all don't mess with anything but Phillies, Garcia Vegas, White Owls, all kinds of shit. we got three different personalities here today. We're going to roll dubs three different ways. We're going to put green and do three different things, and we're going to show you guys how we do it. 
want to say yeah, that's what's up man we got a few folks on the line we got some folks watching on youtube we got about 11 folks right now total we appreciate you guys tuning in like we said this is this is the show square groupers normally we're not talking about cowboys as much but on the built different group tip now you know what i mean we're really just trying to find out what these other 31 teams so we welcome all the other 31 teams because guess what you know the stuff that we're going to be talking about today don't just relate to the cowboys everybody it is a worldview when it comes to that right now. And I, I want to, I want to, you know, we want to say some shout outs on you've got the list in front of you. I think of the folks that are supporting us right now, but you know, the build different group is starting to blow up a little bit and we're definitely using this as sort of a, a springboard for a lot of our projects, making sure that we sort of get everybody together that we want in our network. And we're going to use the group to, to basically put everybody on blast and get everybody out. So like BG just said, we're uh, sorry, BG just said, we're looking for some folks to get out here and, and try and make some content. If you're someone who's, who you feel you've got, you're in your lane and you've got some things that you can bring to the fan, to the fan base, let us know, you know, we'll, we'll see what's up. We'll get you boosted. We'll see what we can do. Yeah, we all are hanging out here together at the Built Different Group, formerly, formerly the artist known as the Legacy Group from OAT, like we had our last show that we did yesterday. What can the BDG Group do for the BDG Network do for you in 21? And this show today is a direct result of that because we're going to have a how-to episode today on something that's very near and dear to my heart because if you know, I shared my story before. I didn't know how to roll nothing because I smoked by myself. So... Who's my best friend? It was YouTube. Yeah. Oh, how to roll a blunt. That's how I learned how to roll a blunt, believe it or not. And you gotta be you gotta say thanks to the folks out there who were who were like, you know what, man, I, sh I should put a video out. Because let me tell you, I don't know if you remember back in the days when 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 it was time for you to roll something, whether it was a blunt, whether it was a joint, whether it was anything like that, a white owl. You know, it, it, most people didn't want to teach you, man. It's almost like you had to know. And if you didn't know, you got fucked with. You know what I'm saying? So at least YouTube, you had a couple people out there that are like, you know what? I'm going to try and help some folks out right now so that they don't get caught up at a party. They don't get caught up hanging out at a smoke session. Someone bring, hands them a blunt and they don't know how to roll one. And I'll tell you right away, man, blunts are tricky, man. You know, it, it, there's some parts of it that you actually need to remove so you're not smoking a filler. But a lot of people don't take that out. That's why they burn so harsh. Um, but, yeah, there's a lot of trial and error involved in it. Definitely. And uh, it's pretty cool that somebody put that out on a video. I had to learn out of necessity. I was just telling you. I sat there. The one time I really, really learned was I was probably 18 years old. Somebody put a pound down in front of me was like, roll them. And I was like, how many you want? And they were like, a pound. <laughs> the whole pound. Okay. <laughs> and a couple guys just sat down and started rolling. After about hey. 50 minutes, I was like, uh, 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 uh. Hey, hey after, after a pound, you was literally a grass pro hook, huh? <laughs> Definitely, man. And I don't know how long it took for us to get through those joints, but if you could do the math on it, like, you know, you know, a quarter pound is four ounces, right? And there's there's uh, four of those in a pound and there's an eighth. There's a joint, uh, three joints in each eighth. So you could do the math on that because I'm not about to. I'm all about I'm about grammar, not math. Yeah. But yeah. before we get hot and heavy into that, man, let's talk a little, a little bit about some cowboy stuff. As you see, we had some breaking news. Um, you know, once a cowboy, always a cowboy. If you guys haven't heard, Zachary Maldonado, who, by the way, is a brand new BDG Network page supporter. So thank you. There are four supporters now. We got Joyce Harris. We got Jay Mackin, who's been around for four months on the BDG page as a supporter. Uh, we got Joyce, who's been around for three months. And then just yesterday, we had um, Zachary and Jesus, who's on the line today. Osguada, if I'm saying that right, gang, gang, everybody joining up here, we appreciate that. Uh, but Jason Witten from the Las Vegas Raiders is now, or whatever they call him out there now, Las Vegas Cowboys has decided to retire, man. What's your thoughts on that? The rumor is he's coming back to sign a one-day contract with Dallas. You know how they do it. Let me tell you, it couldn't have been better. It could not have been better news when it comes to, to Jason Witten. Jason Witten, as everybody knows, was everybody's favorite cowboy at one point. And if they, he wasn't your favorite, he was the guy that you didn't let anybody talk shit about when you were in the same room with them. Jason Witten was the guy who made me say, I'm going to buy another Dallas Cowboy jersey. I went from Roy Williams to Jason Witten without buying one Dallas Cowboy jersey. That's how pissed off I was. And then finally, I was like, this Witten guy, man, he's a superstar. He just, and then I think it was, I said to myself, if he renews a, a if he renews a, um, uh, one of his contracts, if you re resign him, I'm buying his jersey and I bought it. So I'm happy as hell. I think he knows that he, he's going to be a cowboy forever. And I think he knew and Jerry knew we weren't going to pay him what the what the Raiders were going to pay him. Give him an opportunity to make some money when he's done. He'll come back to where he belongs and he'll retire as a cowboy. And I'm, I'm down with that. I'm, I'm all right with that. Yeah. You know, like I said, we you talked about on last show. It was uh, I was in my hotel room at the draft in 2018. 
uh, right there uh, by the Great Vine Mall, man, and the news broke. Dun, 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 dun. This just in, per source from Adam Scheffner, Jason Witten, too, retired from the Dallas Cowboys. And I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> so, you know, there was some smoke around that, obviously, but he went out to Vegas, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, they got that young kid out there now. I can't, you know, I don't follow the Raiders, but, um, you know, if there's Raiders fans here that could let us know. Um, you know, they got that young tight end out there, but I think it's just time for him. And you know how they do it. They're going to come back. They're going to retire. Cowboys always. They're going to get plugged into the network. And we're talking about Jura Jones' network. Jura. Jurel, The man. Yeah, that's uh, – I, I, I really – I couldn't have picked another Cowboy that I, I – I, I was just had this feeling in my stomach that there's a possibility that my man is going to retire as a, as, a, as a Raider. And it was really hurting me, and I'm just so glad it didn't work out that way. Just so glad it didn't work out that way. Yeah, it's quite a few folks. I know everybody, that's the going thing. Everybody says, well, these, all these folks, you know, have left and like all the Cowboys that are on the Chiefs now, I guess, going to be up for another Super Bowl like Thomas and I don't know, a couple of the defensive guys. Um, you know, I mean, Dallas, Jerry, y'all going to fix this shit, man. You know what I mean? Tom Brady done left a team and got another team, a whole new team, and then went over there and they're going to the Super Bowl in his own bathroom. Come on. That's a that's a big shit. Real quick, while I have some of you folks on that I know that are friends of mine on my Bob the Cannabis Cowboy profile, do me a big favor. Grab this link and share it to my Bob the Cannabis Cowboy profile. So that way, at least some of the folks that are used to watching Square Groupers will be able to get in there. If they happen to not have YouTube, if they happen to not be involved in the in the Build Different group right now, I don't really know. But if y'all can do that, just maybe get a couple people to, to do that. I'd be real, I'd be real happy. Some of the patrons I have in here, we got some folks in here. Just go ahead and do that real quick. I, I'd, be, I'd be much appreciative of that. Thank yeah. you so much. Thank you for bringing that up, man. So shout out to the winners from yesterday's show. We had over 200 shares. We had 230 something shares Damn. a majority of those from brandon redock thank you gang gang he's a double patron over there um he actually won the star chain with the necklace so i'm gonna mail that out to gladewater texas where he's out there so shout out to them texas folks you know what i mean and then shout out to uh who was the second one was uh oh, was the other one? oh my goodness uh mike rock how could i forget my sbg up mike here in seattle mike rock coming through he got the wallet but on today's show so check it out in line with what we're doing at Square Groupers, you know what I mean? Because we're kind of mixing and matching over here, right? You know what I mean? The top share, you know what I mean? I don't know. What do you think? Oh, Some them gloves, gloves, man. Them gloves are tight, man. The gloves? The gloves for the top share because they, they're catching all them shares. So the top share of show today's show, and it's got to be from the BDG page. Now, if you're watching from YouTube, share it and just let me know where you shared it. Total number of shares, you know what I mean, on today's top number of shares. will get that. And then the runner-up. We're going to give them a pair of socks, you know what I mean? Because you, know, you got your cannabis, your medical cannabis socks over there. Yeah. Keep some green on your feet. Brandon Reddick in the house, man. Yeah, it's, it's so crazy, man. I'm looking at all the usual suspects out here, man. I got I got a lot of love for you folks. I got a lot, of love, a lot of love for us, man. It's been from day one, you guys have been putting in work for us, and we really appreciate it. We had a couple of people asking what are some other things they can do for us to show support like share subscribe get our word out get our vibe out you know try and pass on the word of what we're doing and try and find us some folks that you think are actually going to fit within this built different group because you know we're not trying to bring up a, a whole bunch of people in but we're definitely not supposed to bring we're not trying to bring a bunch of people in that are doing the sos the same old shit. you know we want something different we want something fresh we want something that's gonna that that we're you know that's different man and uh that's really what the group is all about bringing some folks that are that'll help us diversify what we do here, which is, you know, some pretty, uh, some pretty um, original stuff, I think. Yeah. We're just not another Cowboys show, you know, God forbid if I need to follow somebody else other than who I already follow that breaks down the game. I mean, I got Cowboy creators and we're going to bring one on the show today, you know, in our group of that's built different over here from OAT, you know, our foundation, I mean, me and this guy go back to 2016 on. So, um, you know, we're doing something totally different. Like we say, the weed, you know what I'm saying? This is all 32 NFL fan teams that are out there. You know what I mean? So don't be surprised when there's a weed promo on your favorite Dallas Cowboys uniform like you see in the NBA right now. Not so much with the weed, but you see Rakuten and them guys have already cracked the code advertising on uniforms. It's coming, man. So stick with us here at Square Groupers, man, and getting to know, because like we always like to say, the big green rush, man, when the tide comes in, if your boat is in the water here with us at Square Groupers, you know what I'm saying? All boats will rise. You there, Bob? Yeah, my bad, my bad. Okay. 
kind of knew that was going to happen. Yeah. But as Bob's over there getting situated, like I said, don't forget big shares. I need some shares out there. We had, can we top over 230 shares? So shout out to Brandon. Can Brandon repeat? Can Brandon get Brandon? Just do me a favor. Repeat today so I can mail you the gloves and the chain today. If you can do that, baby. You know what I mean? Brandon's going to have it all, man. Brandon is going to have it all, man. Oh, Bobby McClain, be ready to smoke with your boy on Friday. That's good to know, man. I'm glad I was actually going to text you today because I know you asked me a question about if I've been snow tubing or anything like that. But uh, let's let's try and find some place to catch up, man. Um, if you're going to be if you're going to be at um, Good Chem, let me know when you're going to be at Good Chem and I might just meet you there. And uh, we could take a couple picks and stuff like that and share them to the group. Let everybody know what's up with the uh, with our supporters from uh, from day one, man. That's what's up, Bob. So, you know, we got a special guest that we're bringing on the show today. And I know you got a special setup over there today. And you got a gift from a special follower and a fan that's on here with us today, too, that I'd like for you to show that. What you got over there? What are you rolling up? What you got going on before we bring on a special guest on today? I've always been the kind of person. Uh, I don't want to call myself a purist because there's nothing pure about me. But definitely, I, I'm I'm uh, I'm not a person who follows trends. And once I find something that works for me, I tend to stick with it. So while I've smoked cannabis through a lot of different things in my life, be it glass pieces, bongs, gravity bongs, two liter bottles and buckets, everything that we've done in our entire life, no matter what happens, I always go back to wraps. That's just regular papers, 1.25s. So real quick, since I figured we're going to do a couple of things real, you know, real fast with the three different folks showing showing how they did, like to smoke their cannabis, I figured I'd just show you how I roll my dudes real quick. So let's get the camera pointed down real quick and get a real good shot of this badass tray from Sarah. <laughs> oh, my God. So what do we have in here, ladies and gentlemen? We've got ourselves a decent amount of ground up crunk berries. Because again, even though we don't always talk about the Cowboys, today we do. And that's what I smoke on game day. So we're going to pour that directly into my coffee bean grinder. Even though it's already ground, I've just gotten so used to using this to put this in, uh, to pour the cannabis into my paper. So I just take a piece of paper like this, put a little bit of a lip on the end, pour it down there. Now, a lot of folks, they wind up getting all these pregnant joints because they don't take this extra step to flatten out the middle. Flatten out the middle, get a little bit on both sides, and you just make sure that there's a little bit, a little bit of a, a divot in the center. Put it right there in the middle, twist it, secure it, and you've got a joint, my friend. Bingo, bango, bongo. And I know everybody's got their joints and their 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 uh, what they smoke out of, and the green, the the big pieces, and the bongs and whatnot. But this always does it for me since day one. Joints have always done it for me. And, you know, I just saw a comment. It's all about the pre-roll. There's a lot of things that are good about pre-rolls, but there's a lot of things that are bad about pre-rolls. One of the things I hate about pre-rolls, they're rolled too tight. They're packed too tight because they're packed. They're made sure that they fit that one gram inside that piece of paper. And that doesn't always really help out when it comes to smoking. So there's a few pre-rolls I've smoked in my life that are great. And there's a lot that I just get pissed off and wind up dumping all of it out and just rolling two regular joints like I just showed you right in front of you <laughs> because they just don't do it right. And I don't, you know, this this particular I method, this particular method I use, I don't really get a lot of runs. I don't really have a lot of issues with uh, having to having to spit on it and, and so that it winds up burning correctly. These joints, I learned how to roll in hurricane, hurricane force winds in Miami, Florida as a as a teenager growing up, trying to roll a joint before Hurricane Andrew destroyed my city. I mean, there was a lot of times where I just had to roll and roll and roll. And uh, these 1.25s are the best. And I know a lot of you folks know exactly what they are because if you are a patron and you join my patron program, you got a pack of these ultra thin 125s in the paper, in the mail, along with one of my stickers. There you go, ultra thin. You know, it's all about making sure that you've got as little paper as you possibly can have inside your joint so that you're just smoking cannabis. You're not smoking a lot of paper. BG, I know you got something you do, man. How, how do you like to, uh, how do you like to introduce the cannabis to your lungs? Oh, well, you know, I, I was, those are really neat. Cause I used to watch my father who used to take Mexican smuggled weed in Oklahoma in a <laughs> beer tray can and separate the seeds out of it and roll it with a zigzag. He was an army veteran that suffered from PTSD and depression too. <clears throat> so I wanted to thank you for sending me this because I actually did roll one, but man, I prefer y'all know how I do it. You know what I mean? Uh, if you've ever known me, you know I like you know what I mean music, especially my Texas artists. And uh, you know I like UGK, and I never knew that they had actually built their logo around um, the Swisher Sweet brand logo. 
you know what I mean? But I had to get off of that tobacco stuff, you know what I mean? Because a guy like me, you know, I got kids, I got to keep my lung, you know how it works, man. So I went to the healthy switch, I went to the Royal Blunts, I actually wrote an article about that over on Medium, but that's how I do it now. I still roll up, and y'all know I shared my story before we bring on our special guest here today, and this, I shared this with you guys multiple times, like, um, I, I, at one point before I even knew how to roll, I would just take the blunt and I would, you know, how you do the, who, you know, what's the folks that do the, that's the not black, cheating, man. That's black, not cheating. it works. The black and miles, right. They would do that instead of just splitting it and gutting it because I couldn't roll it. So no use in splitting it. I would just, you know, pack it all down and then I would take it on my, you know, I actually, before I had my planet 13 trade that I roll with, you know what I mean? Shout out planet 13, you know, the world's only the world's largest medical cannabis dispensary in the world, Craig. You know what I mean? So shout out Planet 13. I was rolling on a piece of paper, had like a metal rod and I was shafting, you know, <laughs> I was shafting buds down, you know what I'm saying? The blunt, you know, so it wasn't really a good look until I got around some people that knew how to roll. And the guy that we're going to bring on the show today, you know, I actually, when I was with him, I he'd have to roll. <laughs> he'll tell you that himself. And he's going to show us how to roll today. But, I, you know, I, I, I roll solo. Get it? I do. And I'll tell you this much, as much as I don't smoke anything other than white boys, I don't really love smoking out of tobacco since I don't smoke cigarettes anymore. If the homeboy we're about to bring in had what he's about to roll in front of me, I'm going to hit it. I'm going to hit it because it is who he is. We're family like that. And plus, don't be an asshole and turn down cannabis no matter what. Yeah, I mean, I just I would get around you guys and I was just amazed, like as fast as you rolled that little bitty uh, white boy. You know what I mean? I was over here trying to answer and do some stuff and you were done. I'm like, man, I missed that. So I got to focus on our next guest, which we got about 49, almost 50 folks riding with us now. So we obviously got some shares going on. So we appreciate and welcome everybody to the Square Grouper show. We got a special guest that we're bringing on. You guys see the highlight. So I've never learned. I never roll. I tried to roll a backwoods once and I was like, man, that shit. I barely know how to roll a blunt. Let me, that's, that's next level. Like I need to level up on COD. You know what I mean? I tell you a little trick right now. I don't know, really know if the dispensaries are going to get, get mad at me about it, but anybody who knows, knows y'all know that those pre-rolls are not rolled either. So what Barry was just alluding to about having to take the weed, pour it in there and pack it. That's not a cheat. That may be something your homeboy gives you shit about, but it's still going to work. And what they do for mass quantities of pre-rolled joints at cannabis uh, dispensaries, they put them in a rack that has holes in it with the open side up, and they pour all the weed into it and shake it and pour weed into it and shake it until it gets to the level they need to get it to. They pack it and twist it, and that's your pre-roll. So it's not actually rolled. It's filled. And when you have joints and, and cannabis cones that are filled instead of rolled, you don't get that tightening process, which means your cannabis is not going to burn evenly. It has a higher chance of getting runs or, or canoeing. There's a bunch of different terms for it. But if you don't roll your cannabis a little tight, you will get runs and you will get the you will get you wind up burning half of your joint, and not the other half or something like that. Well, I don't know if you've talked about this, but isn't there a stigma out there that like the pre rolls get the ass ends of the quality? You know what? There is a stigma about that. And I'll tell you, I'll tell you firsthand just from somebody who's worked in the, in the dispensary. I worked at the dispensary I shop at. That's not how it works with those folks. What it is with them is they get it. Let's say you have a pound of cannabis and at least three quarters of that pound are really nice buds, nugs, the one, the kinds that you want to throw into a pill jar so that when you take it out, you're like, Ooh, yeah. But then there's those little tiny nugs and the nugs that are attached to the nugs that don't necessarily make it into the eighth bottles because they aren't attractive or they're just not as big. They take those and then they grind those out and then they roll them. There's plenty of dispensaries out there who probably take their shake, maybe even some of their leaf trimming and turn that into pre-rolls because, you know, business is business. But I can only speak for good chemistry and that they, for a fact, I know don't do that. They, uh, they've got, they just have other, it's just smaller buds. They wound up taking some of their popcorn buds or even some of their other buds that they couldn't turn into an eighth or something like that. And it goes into a pre-roll and it's not always the, the quality that's in there. It's how that is, how it's packed and how it is put in there. That'll tell you whether you could burn it evenly or not. That's what's up. That's what's up. So shout out to all the folks that are watching with us here. We get ready to bring our special guest on. And before we do that, I'm just going to let you guys know, you know, I've, I've known this guy since 2016. I've watched him go from, you know, the car with his glasses on and a sweaty T-shirt with a notepad and a pencil going live from his phone on his first page that he ever had. And I immediately added him to OAT because I knew the type of quality of content that if there was a guy at training camp as a fan that was taking notes on the players and was spitting facts. I'm like, 
man, that, that's the type of fans that we need around here. So little did I know years after that, though, you know what I mean, that we do have something in common. And he is a veteran. And here at the BDG Network, we like to highlight our military veterans because why? When it comes to medical cannabis, as you know, this guy next to me here has actually helped me get a medical card up here in the Washington state. You know what I mean? You can save money and you can also buy more when you go to the dispensary like your boy. The typical legal limit is one ounce. But with a medical card, thanks to, you know, what I mean, my man over there, I got to walk out with two ounces of medical cannabis today, um, significantly cheaper than you would pay it at, at price value. So as we talk about this weed, man, let's get him on our guests. Without further ado, you guys know him, man. He's the king of the Facebook streets when it comes to the Dallas Cowboys. You know what I mean? He got an inbox full of hate. You know what I'm saying? But he's breaking that star to the fullest. And today we are going to learn how to roll a backwoods with West Coast Cowboy, baby. Y'all know who he is. Yay. Yeah, what's up with you, man? I'm up, my scene is all. I was, I was trying to edit it to make it a little be all be a little more cuter. So. <laughs> but, I mean, I'm all, I'm usually I'm all green screen most of the time now, but so I apologize for all the, the aesthetics, man. I apologize for that, y'all. But yo, I want to let this be a disclaimer. I've only been rolling blackwood backwards for 27 days now. I made a thing that I said I was gonna be rolling. I was only gonna be smoking backwards for for 2021. Um, and the reason being is because when it comes to like thin paper that's about as thin as you're gonna get now i had somebody that said backwoods are harsh as hell the only got a thing i gotta say if your backwood is harsh you need more weed fam <laughs> <laughs> you're right <laughs> like i'm just keeping it real like that's yeah, a little more a little more weed a little less backwood yeah because i'm gonna keep it real bro because if you do a backwood the way it's supposed to it's damn near gonna rip on you because those mugs are thin so if you if, if a backwood is harsh that means you're that's a lot of paper but one concept that you got to understand about a backwood is like when you roll a backwood, it needs to be at least at thicker than a cigarette. If it's not thicker than a cigarette, then just don't do it. You know what I'm saying? Get it, get you a, get you a white boy or get you a, a, a blunt or something. You know what I'm saying? But uh, those are kind of the parameters that you got to think about when you're think when you're when you're doing the backwoods. And hey, man, I did a watch party on my page. So I got like I got like like 30, 40 people up in here, man. I just want to give some shout outs real quick. Shout out my boy, Ralph. My boy G Jeezy, what up with you, my guy? Uh, Chris Boats, man, I was talking to you on the phone this morning. What up with you, Craig? I see you, Craig, sliding through, man. I, yeah, you know I see you, Craig. And I'm gonna see a couple of you. If I see, if I if I don't see you, that means you didn't say hi in the comments. So that's technically your fault. All right. So if you want to get said hi to or recognize, make sure you say hi in the comments. And I got you. You know what I'm saying? But yo, man, let's get this thing popping, man. Which y'all, I even got a green shirt on. Look at this. You know what I'm saying? Let's go. <laughs> No, man, it's, it, the floor is your however you want to do it. Man. Right. It's a how-to with West Coast, so we're all paying attention and learning, and I'm glad that you shared. You, all you right, know. now I'm going to tell you all the real reason why I smoke. Whoa, whoa. Actually, I got to I gotta actually. The real reason why I changed backwoods is this. There be times when I'm with people who like to smoke marijuana, right? And these people... Don't when you when you're smoking with I'm only 180 pounds like I'm really under nine pounds you know what I'm saying and a lot of the times I smoke with people who are bigger than me right and you can't be passing no little little freaking you know what I'm saying no little 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 blunt around you know what I'm saying so one thing I love about backwoods is is like if you have a tendency of smoking with a lot of people you're gonna love backwoods why because yeah it is gonna seem like you're using more weed but at the same time I think. You're going to get instead of, you know, a lot of times when the back in the day, we'd be smoking with the homies. You got to pass like four blunts around. <laughs> you know what I'm saying like the cool thing about a backwood is if you do it right, like four people can smoke a backwood and be good. You know what I'm saying <laughs> now burns go ahead. slow enough for that to happen. It burns, it, you know, like you're saying, if you're not if you've got the filler in there, which is the part that's harsh, it's also the part that makes your backwood burn faster so if you're just using like what you're using right now it's not only going to burn slower but you're going to actually get a, a, a less of a, a fast burn on it so that when people are hitting it you're you know if you're in a group of five people you're going to hit that three or four times it doesn't exactly. have exactly yeah. exactly like if you that's 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 what i was going to that's the main that's where i was trying to man he said that better than me you know what i'm saying <laughs> if he's talking football like he the west coast of, of marijuana talk <laughs> <laughs> like you know what I'm saying? Because you know how y'all say something in football, I'd be like, yeah, that was it was actually 7.6. Yeah, yeah. Not yeah. 80%. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> what, he did, what he did, that's what that's, I like that. I like that. Do that again next time I mess up. You know what I'm saying? But yo, I love 
they're 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 good for that's why you see like move that's why it's funny because when you look at music videos and rappers and stuff like that they always have backwards i'm gonna tell you why because you can like two backwards will probably have 10 people good <laughs> you can pass that thing in 10 or 15 10 or 12 people can hit that thing you know what i'm saying and so one thing about marijuana you know that man it sucks to smoke by yourself yes it's good to have all the tree but I hate being in my garage smoking weed by myself. I hate it. Like I be looking at my phone of random people who can just come smoke with me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like that. Yeah, I, I hate it. You know what I'm saying? So the backwood, because marijuana is more of a community. I think it's more of a community, more communal. What's the like word that you would say? Like bringing people together. Feels right, man. You're right. You're right. Communal than alcohol, because when you after you get to a point of alcohol, it's like, bro, you're in your own thing. And at some point, if you drink too much alcohol, you're going to be your own thing because you're going to be drunk. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. But the cool thing about tree is, man, and backwards is you can just keep on burning and you're going to be you're going to be straight. So if you around a lot of people and you always be like large group smoking, this this is backwards is good for you, too, because you're going to you're going to have to roll less. So that's that's another good advantage of smoking backwards is you can smoke with more people and you don't got to roll so many blunts. We got a question, man. We were just talking about this. We got a bet on this, Bob. And I, how long do you think it might take you to roll back? See, <laughs> this is the thing, right? Because I was no, actually telling myself. Oh, this is, minutes, this is the thing. I was actually telling myself this. I was actually telling myself this. I was like, yo, which type of backwood should I roll? Should I run a, a roll of realistic backwood? Like when I'm in my car smashing, and I'm, you know, because I don't smoke and drink. I mean, I don't smoke and drive. But every now and then I pull over and I, I roll a backwood. You know what I'm saying? So do I want to do it like that? Or do I really want to bust out the humdaggers? Yeah, because if you, hey, this right here, them scissors, boy, them okay. scissors will save your life with some backwoods. Oh okay. man! So, so this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna just, I'm, I don't, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just, Wes, Before you get, before you get on that, right? I need everybody to know. I appreciate all your followers over here watching us and supporting. Man, we knew who the numbers were when they went up and they came in. But we, you know, we like to highlight music and cannabis is here. Why you about to break down that and do that over there, man? We're known here now as what we call digital dealers, but there's another thing called digital dealers out there. And this is a special promo by our um, assigned sponsor that we want to highlight before West Coast actually breaks that backwood down. So shout out Ooh. to all the digital dealers. Ooh. I be your digital dealer. Hit me in my DMs. Let me send your pack in the mail. Hope that pack don't tell. Yeah, I'm going to sell, sell, sell till I go to jail. I be your digital dealer. Yeah, you hit me in my DMs. Y'all will put that pack in the mail. Hope that pack don't tell. Watch me sell, sell, sell till I go to jail. Up, 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 up in the way. Yeah, I put that pack in the mail. DEA be watching. I be going in and doing my thing. I don't care. You watch me, watch me, watch me. Sell, sell, sell. Pack be leaking. Yeah, it's talking loud. Talking, talking, talking be loud. What you talking about? Yeah, you really be telling, 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 but I'm going to still make this money. Send my cash to that cash app. Leave that trail, leave that trail, trail. For 12. I, 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 I be your digital dealer, digital dealer, digital dealer, digital dealer, digital dealer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out to Star Breezy. Star Y'all know what it is. We're dropping exclusive tracks over here that's specially made for the digital dealers over here at Square Groupers. If you don't know where we got the term Square Groupers for, man, do a little bit of homework and just Google Square Groupers, man, and watch that movie and then get back to us, man. Well, you about ready to roll that backwood up over there, Resco? Oh, my bad. I'm, I had to my head. What, is it on me? Yeah, yeah, man. We ready, ready to see you do the thing, baby. Do All the right, thing. man. So the first thing you're going to do, man, is you're going to get these backwoods from the store. You're going to notice they're more expensive. The reason why they're more expensive is because you would think that you're going to smoke less. You know what I'm saying? Switchers are cheap because you smoke a gang of them. No one's going to keep buying these for $2 if you, you know what I mean? You're not going to do that. So that's why switchers are like 89 cents because you smoke a lot of them. You know what I'm saying? These are, you're going to get four of them for like $10 damn near. One, two, three, four. Five. Yeah, it's four. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Um, another thing about these backwoods is these are not swishers. You cannot leave them open after you open that pack. You must close the pack. The reason being is because this is the closest to tobacco, that, real tobacco that you are get. Hey, and I will say this, you know, if you do smoke blunts and papers to a degree, you are addicted to tobacco. You got to be real with yourself on that. Unless it's him. Unless it's, huh? him. Unless it's him. Unless it's him. Hey, Wiz said that and it kind of punched me in the face. I was like, man, Wiz, don't you ever say something like that? Then I had to think about it like, damn, am I really? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, you are shut a little out, bit. So, out, this is what you're going to do. 
Shout out hip gang, hip gang. Unless you on the hemp, unless you on the hemp, because that's no tobacco. You know what I'm saying? So that's probably what I'll be doing in 2022. You know what I'm saying? So one thing at a time. So this is what you're gonna do. First thing you gotta know about these um, these backwoods is the number one thing is this: don't try to break it down like it's a damn blunt. Because if you did, you just wasted three dollars because you're not gonna do nothing with it. That's the worst. That's the worst. The number one mistake that you that everybody running a blackwood. I'm gonna even say everybody. That's the first thing I made mistake with. You know what I'm saying? I bought a whole pack, broke them all down like blunts, thinking I was doing it wrong, and that is not how it's supposed to do it. You know what I'm saying? A backwood is technically a leaf. So what they do is they roll tobacco in a leaf. So what you're going to do is you want to find the tip of it up here. I already kind of started it. But if you look at a backwood at the top, it's always going to be like this place where it's just the indentation where they stopped rolling it because that's where the paper stopped. You want to take that and you just want to kind of pull, you get it so that it almost comes apart right here. Now, these companies are cheap, so they're not going to put like sticky stuff, whatever they use to make it close all the way through. They're just going to put it right there and roll it really, really tight. So all you got to do is hit it. And then once you get it past like the stickiest part of it, then it's just going to all come open. So hold up real quick. Let me do this real quick. All right, bam. So see, bam, now watch. And now see, see, this was the stickiest part right here, right? Now, now that I didn't did that, look at this. It just roll. It just roll. It just roll. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to tell you, this stuff is tacked in there so, so tight that this, look at, look at this, how it stays together. Bro, that's how, I, that's how I did a backwood when I first got it. I split it like a switch. I said, man, it's, I don't know how they does throw this shit in the Yeah, trash, man, man, I ain't going to lie. You need to do a video. You need to do a show on how you stuffed weed into one of those because I've <laughs> never seen that in my life. So oh, that's something that, that we all did. The, the next show. Before we learned how to roll, that's the only way that we did <laughs> no. it. Like like random it, it, things you need to know just in like case I'm you're on, on Jeopardy. Like I'm on, the, like I'm on the toilet with the plumber, dog. I was like, this was right. the rod jamming that shit in the blunt. Wow. That's 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 crazy. All right. So, yeah, I never heard of that before. So, yeah. So this is what you want to do. A tip too. when you get down to since the, the backwoods are leaves, when you get down to like your last two backwoods, you want to take them guts and put them back inside there because it'll help you keep your backwoods, um, um, keep them, uh, keep them fresh. You know what I'm saying? Because these mugs dry out fast, fam. Like these things dry out fast. Like literally just sitting here. I'm going to tell you another little thing about backwoods, too. Now that we told I told you that after you lick it. Cause you know you gotta lick it before you stick it. You know what I'm saying? Before you, you lick, lick it, it, you got to stick you it. lick it before you lick it. You know what I'm saying? So before you, lick, I'm gonna tell you this right here. When you lick this backwood, you are committed. <laughs> this is go. not a switch. You this is go. not a wrap. You can wrap it in your girl, your baby mama call you. Let me come in the house real quick. I'm gonna come back and roll that blood. No, once you lick this, you are committed. Because once you lick it, it's not. It's it's a totally different wrap. You know what I'm saying? Now, I'm going to tell you guys, this is for the people who are, I mean, if you ain't never rode a backwood, don't try to do it in your car. I guess we just, we'll just, we'll just, I'll just show you the, the way you're supposed to do it. This is what you're going to do, man. You're going to take this and once you roll it, it's going to look just like this, right? You're going to do, you're going to cut this in a way that's going to get it as close to a rectangle as possible without making your blunt as small as hell too. Now, I'm going to tell you who told me this. The baby did. He a rapper. He got millions of dollars. And I'm going to tell you why he also not tripping, because when you do this, yes, it does make your blunt smaller. But you know what I noticed? He's made them fatter. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't need. I, have you noticed that people with these big old long blunts, they're usually skinny as hell? Hey, <laughs> thick, thick, thick blunts save lives. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. So, you know, that's what that's what I noticed, too. It's like, damn, OK, I get it. I get it. You know what I'm saying? So this is what I do. So first off, I cut this. A lot of people, what they like to do, too, if you don't know how to make it even, they'll fold it in half. But I'm pretty good at just looking at it and finding out where I want my square at, where I want my triangle at. And so then I just do this. See that edge right there? I just cut that off. Why? Because that's going to cause me problems. Now, I'm going to ask you guys, what do you think you're doing with this rectangle? <laughs> Whatever you want to do, because now it's like regular. It's like rolling anything else. I told y'all, man, I only been doing this 27 days, so I know the technical way. I don't know the hood way where you, you know, driving the car, you whipping the five, and you got your, your curl right here, and you rolling the blunt and smoking one. I can't do that yet. You know what I'm bro, saying? at least you ain't packing it with no metal rod, bro. You know I know. I'm mean? just saying. So you know saying? with my back, my with my backwood training, you're going to need – I should have said you need 15 minutes. <laughs> right, then this, is the, this is the good part. You know what I'm saying? Here you go. I told you he was going to technically break all that down how he's going to do it, right, Bob? Yep. 
By the way, yeah. you got some. I also got a spoon right here. You want to know why this big old spoon is right here? Because every now and then you get these big old freaking lines or these big old veins through this mug. So what you want to do with this spoon is, and you don't, and I'm going to tell you, you really want your finger right here. Because if you put your finger right here and drag it, you know what you're going to do? You're going to tear the whole backwood. I don't know why it is, Bob. I could guarantee you could probably come up with some this reason why it does that. But if your thumb is not right here, you're going to turn your, you're going to tear it. And, and I've done it enough time to just realize that. So I got this big old barricose vein going through here, right? I'm going to take it, and I'm going to put my thumb right where I said it. It's basically a stem, so you have to flatten that out. And these backwoods are so thin that if you put your thumb right where I said it is, you're going to be fine. Because some of these veins be huge. Yeah, if you ever take a leaf, just any sort of plant leaf, and put it up to a light, you'll see those exact veins he's talking about. And it's much easier to tear the leaf from the vein than it is to tear the vein from the leaf because they're basically just branches. Mm -hmm. Now, if there's any like ones on the ends, I'll just rip those off because I ain't even trying to deal with that. All right, bam. Now, you know what I'm saying? I got some sponsor tree. This is, this is I got some sponsor tree, but my my package ain't came in the mail. So this is my last one. So I had to go pick up some other stuff. But this is my people over here at Source Cannabis right here. It's the best stuff in the world. It's like 30 something percent. It's ridiculous. That's, oh! When I'm in my shows, this is what I'm off. What of, you got? Man. Is it a hybrid, sativa? What you got? Oh, this is a hybrid. Um, this strand is specifically created for creators. That's what I love about marijuana. You know what I'm saying? In, to, in, in today's Absolutely. day, Absolutely. they can actually have marijuana that is specifically for creators. Like if you go to Quest, I mean, if you go to SourceCannabis.com, you can look up the, their, their, their strand called Quest. It's their highest rated strand. And um, like this, you know, you know, this is the type of, like I said, like it literally says this is for people who are ever, who are in creative, who are, who are have a um, concept and things like that. And like for me, and another thing I love about it is it it doesn't um it's a hybrid. So I don't when I'm live, I don't like physically looking like I'm faded. Like I don't like feeling like that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't uh, like I don't like that. You know what I'm saying? I always imagine my own kids watching, you know what I'm saying? So it's just all about presentation, you know what I'm saying? I get a haircut every three days, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, you know what I mean? Presentation is real creator, big. Creator uh, problems. Yeah, creator problems, fam. Hey, I'm gonna tell you, if you a real creator, you you I don't even my barber come to the crib, bro. Like my barber calls me and like, yo, I'll be there. Oh, 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 who you got? You got custom auto coming over there, man. Who you <laughs> hey, shout out custom auto. No, I got Dio, man, from the hood, man. <laughs> but he come on, get me taken care hey, of. Shout out, shout out cuts, though. You know what it hey, is. Hey, oh heck yeah, man. Shout out. Hey, I love people who who have their own brand and then they, you know, they they use the cowboys to to grow to bush off. I love that, man. I did the same thing cuts did. Zeke got a dude he just put on that's doing a um diet that's doing the meal prep. You know what I'm saying? So everybody making Jerry Jones, he making so much money off us. Shoot, we gotta make some bruh, you feel me? <laughs> that's what that's what that's what this is about here in this, especially this video. And that's why I know we were all stressing, like we wanted to be so perfect because you know what I mean? How to like, I mean, I had to Google like, and I was like, oh, I don't like that. Like the people want to be funny and do all this other shit set for tell me how to do it. So yeah. the fact that we got folks that know folks here telling us how to do it, I think is totally different. You know what I mean? So I think that's what's traditionally unique about here becoming self-sufficient. You know what I mean? Learning on your own while we're you know going through this transformational time in, in, in this country where you can literally use this opportunity to get ahead like we've been talking about. Yeah. Hey, I'm going to tell you something a little sick, a little secret, too. Um, you don't really want to use a grinder if you're real in backwoods. You know what I'm saying? Because a grinder is going to make it really too small and dust does not like, you know, like if you're going to roll, if, if if you use a grinder, you got to roll a lot because you got to remember that the mouth of the blunt is going to be bigger. You know what I'm saying? So that gives more opportunity for it to come out, you know, so and this is what I'm doing right here. I'm just I just I'm just self breaking it down with a hand, but. And I'm gonna tell you another little thing too. When I drove backwoods, I always, I always break down more weed than I'm actually gonna use because as you're rolling the backwood, we gonna fall out. You know what I'm saying? Like you know, when rappers be doing it on TV, I be like, damn, they really got a lot of money because that's just weed just falling on the ground. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's. Go ahead. Have them cats have somebody else roll it for them anyway. They do, man. And I'm going to tell you, Snoop Dogg, like, I know a lot of people who, like, it used to be funny when Snoop said that he was looking for somebody to roll his weed, but, like, that is actually something very, very common. You know what I'm saying? Oh, Freaking, Bob, um, Bob Freaking just told us he broke a whole brick down. How long did that take you? You know what I mean? Like, you learn how to roll in one day, you know, but, yeah, half these rappers, man, they don't, you know, like, that's Bruh. good business, though, too, at the same time, because if, as a creator, you're so busy, you might not have time to roll. You got Waka Flocka, Flocka and Waka Flocka and then freaking what's that boy uh, Sosa the um what's the boy he made um Chief Keith Chief, Chief Keith yeah. 
Chief Keith had a um that he put a thing on his Instagram. He was paying a hundred and twenty five dollars a day for a dude to roll. You know who got? I mean, this is not discrimination or nothing. Little Asian dude, man. Little Asian dude went there and got the job. <laughs> I mean, it don't matter, man. Money's dream. You know what what that? That skill set. You know what I mean? Exactly. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. It don't matter who you are, bro. Little Asian dude went down there and got that. Think about that. that's a, that's almost what's that? What 125 dollars a day? I that's, mean, that's, uh, that's decent money right there, ladies and gentlemen. Is what that is. Yeah, to roll blunts to roll. You know what I'm saying? To just roll up. Yeah, roll, do it roll anyway. up. Like if you go look at any old Nip, rest in peace, any Nipsey Hustle videos, any of his documentaries, Nipsey would have a Ziploc bag full of blunts already rolled. Like yeah, that's, rolled. that's 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 next level. Like I, I I roll mine one at a time. Yeah, I think, you know what's crazy though? I think that is, you know what's crazy? Because I don't even really think it's next level. I think it's just convenience. But think about this. I think that we actually enjoy a portion of rolling each individual bunch. It's therapeutic. It's therapy, yeah. It's yeah. Therapy. Especially breaking down your own flower. Like that's why and we go back to pre-rolls. What I can't do uh, pre-rolls. Yeah, I started with the pre-roll shit. And then I was like, once I was like, oh, it's the bottom of like I want to smoke the bottom. No, you, know, you don't know until you know. You know what I'm saying? But then it was, I want to, I want to know, you know what I mean? Like this whole like he shared with us from barcode of seed to at the counter. You know what I mean? I, I have this trust that I know nobody's touched this and this is mine. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, man. So then, I mean, after you get it in there, I, like I said, I like to pack enough in there that where it's like a little bit thicker than a cigarette. And um, the reme remember, I know a lot of people, a lot of people, you know, get kind of nervous with backwoods because you're like, they're thinking, oh my God, it's so much weed. I'm going to smoke all my weed. And I was even thinking that too. But you know what I noticed is this. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, shoot, I got a wife. Well, I got a wife just like everybody else on this. Oh, man, I know. I'm not laughing at this. Laughing if with your you, wife and put it like this. If your wife smokes, raise your hand. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So guess what? In the back of our mind, yeah, she love it, but she love us. <laughs> you get what I mean? Yes. So, so yes. I'm thinking like if my lady sees me go to the clinic twice in a week, she's going to freaking trip. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So that's why I even got into the into the uh, growing. Remember, Bob? I told you, man. I gotta. I smoke a lot, and my lady be bringing it. up. I mean, she don't care, but I'm so telling you, I, man. I, I went through that. I didn't go. Well, it wasn't my wife telling me about that because you know my wife's down as shit. I've known her since I was 13. She knows mm -hmm. Bob smokes weed. That's cool. But I, I actually took myself off of cannabis for five days simply because I was smoking so much. I I could not consider myself being able to afford what I was smoking, no matter how much I was sitting around. It was just a boredom thing, man. It was court, you know, we're that on yourself. Yeah, we're still doing our own thing. Like we're rolling and just I'm just sitting around rolling jo smoking joints because I can, and then I'm going through an ounce a week. So I just stopped for five days and I don't I don't have to smoke any more than about a joint a day now. That's pretty much how it is. I got my tolerance down to the point where it's chill, but you've got you're right. It becomes it, it can become an issue in many different ways. It's usually the wallet first. Uh and the wallet is usually directly connected to a relationship that you're in. So uh, yep. they're they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna speak at the same time. Yeah, and and the cool thing about it is. Once you get that thing, I mean, honestly, once you get it in there and roll it, like literally, it's just like rolling like a, it's just like rolling a freaking blunt. Like literally, I think this, everybody gets uh, the number one thing that kills everybody with rolling the backwoods is how to break it down. And that is you don't break it down like a blunt. You roll it out like it's a paper. After you roll it like a paper, just always know that once you lick it, you got to start rolling your weed. So I'm going to tell you what a lot of people, what, what probably makes more sense. And I did it backwards here is you probably want to break your weed down first. You know what I'm saying? Already have your weed done. You know what I'm saying? So then when you get it out, and when, once you get it out, then you can like, and the cool thing about it is like, say you don't have scissors like I did, you could just hold it up and just look at it and just tear off the ends, tear off the ends and get it to as close as a square, as a, as a rectangle as possible. Then what I do, like what I just did right now, put the marijuana in the middle, put the marijuana in the middle, and in the exact same, whatever technique you use to roll a blunt, Roll it. You know what I'm saying? Use that exact same technique and it'll work because it's doing the exact same thing. You know what I'm saying? Pro tip one hundred percent too. Like you said, if that if that if that leaf is not wet, you're gonna have a lot of problems because yep. it's much easier to deal with a stem that's poked through a wet paper than it is a stem that broke through something white that just tore your paper. Yeah. Make sure that it's moist enough so that it, you can at least bend it and not crack it. That's really what you're going for. One hundred percent. And make and just and honestly, just be real when you're breaking down. When you break down your weed, also make sure, man, you don't have no stems because I'm gonna tell you, you like a blunt. I'm gonna tell you why. Ooh. And it also it also kind of it kind of reinforces the fact that 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 backwoods are thinner because you can have a you can have a a, a stem in a damn blunt. You know what I'm saying? And it's going to smoke and a backwood. That mess ain't going to smoke right. 
<laughs> like it's it's not gonna smoke right, and it's probably gonna tear when you're when you're ripping it. You know what I'm saying? So the stems is is really important too. Like you were saying, yeah. Shout out, yeah. The Don said, "Hey, we're gonna get back to football." No, you know what we're doing here, you know, primarily is concentrating on medical cannabis. We do things different. Uh, right it's here. January twenty seventh. Yeah, it's Jan hey, I got January twenty seventh. Slap yourself. Hey, didn't the NFL stop testing for weed? Let's talk about that. That's some football. They, they just recently announced that too, right? Along with the NBA, oh, they're not testing. I don't, know. They, I don't think they stopped testing. They uh, they raised the uh, they raised the uh, nanometers that they um, that you can qualify for pissing dirty from 35 to like 150 or something. Yeah. It's basically mm -hmm. the same thing. But you there's know? no penalty though if they get right. it. Right. And even, then, right. even then they're going to offer you something other than a penalty. They're going to offer mm -hmm. you some a health counseling, something like that is what they'll do to you. And that's, yeah. that's not a slap at all. Yeah. I mean, I mean it's, it's like it's like this. This is what I tell people when I say stuff like that. Bro, where was you at? Like, where was you at two months ago when we was talking Cowboys four hours a day, bro? It is January 27th, 2021. You oh, know where man. Antoine Woods is? He's in Cosimo, Mexico right now. You Damn. know where Jalen? I'm not going to tell you where Jalen Smith is. But I'm just saying, the hump, bro, you got to be able to time to like push something else out and then talk about something else for a minute. And I'm going to tell you, even on the West, uh, even on my show right now, we're talking about different things and showing different things because, bro, you got to, it's going to, I'm going to tell you, March 17th, it's all the whole world is going to go crazy. You want to know why? Because that's the start of free agency. Football hmm. start season actually starts on March 17th. It doesn't that's start when kickoff. That's St. Patrick's Day, too. You, but you get what I mean? Because yeah. you got to think like this. Who has the number one free agent in America? We do, Dak Prescott. Bro, mm -hmm. all hell is going to break through. So this is what I'm saying. Until that day, enjoy a little weed and enjoy a little weed talk. You're going to be all right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we ain't got we, dog in the race. We ain't got no dog in the race. So what's our rush? <laughs> and that's, that's why we choose to do things a little different here. And like we said, yeah. and Bob and I have had this conversation. You know, West Coast, you and I have had this conversation. It's hard to keep Cowboy fans happy 24-7, 365. And that's why I told Bob, I said, I don't know how you do it, man, because I bet your inbox is just, you know, so full of hate. Yeah, I get a little hate here and there, but I don't imagine. You know what I mean? The kind of hate you got to deal with in the time you set aside for that. So, yeah, you got to give it a break. Like you said, smoke a back. Well, smoke a backy. Chill out. Right? You know what I mean? Back. Chill out. Like, I mean, this is, and this is the thing. And then this is the thing, too. It's like, you know, one thing is because, I mean, at some point you become like, you know, you understand that people are more involved with just more than just football. Like the same. And, it's, and I'm going to tell you, there is a lot of cowboy fans who smoke a lot of marijuana. I'm just keeping it real with you. Yeah. Like, we was all smoking it before everybody knew we were smoking it, really. Yeah, yeah. like we we're all talking about how are we going to smoke it and let everybody know we're smoking it. Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. <laughs> and and my thing is this. And my thing is this, man. If you're looking to make, let's just get on some just scientific. Let's just take this conversation to a whole nother level. If you're really talking about like player six, player safety, and play, and if you're signing guys to five and six and twelve year contracts, do you, if you get if that player gets hurt, do you want to pump him full of full of uh, I don't know a bunch of stuff that he don't know? You know what I'm saying? Like, what's gonna, what's gonna, what's gonna invest, what's gonna protect your investment? You know what I'm saying? And I'm gonna tell you, the less pain pills, more marijuana. I'm just keeping it real with you. Yep. Like yep. that's, and, and if you're, and if I was the NFL, I'm gonna tell you why the NFL is also going to be be very open to marijuana. I want to tell why is because it's the only market that is untapped with sponsors. Like, bro, I'm probably the first person in history to have a guy that's getting paid to smoke a brand of weed. Other digital than rappers, dealers, rappers do it all day. Dealers, digital dealers, digital dealers. You feel you me? Get out by now. You know what I mean. You get what I'm saying? So it's like, imagine, you know, you imagine when I'm charging them to smoke their, and this, this is good. This is good stuff. You know what I'm saying? So imagine what I'm charging them. Imagine what I'm um, like. Think about this. Dak Prescott today just signed a contract with 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 freaking Anheuser Bush. Imagine if Anheuser Bush and and Miller had to compete with with cannabis. Like, think about that. Dak signed a Dak signed an endorsement deal to endorse beer today. And my dude said he don't, he don't even he hasn't even drank since that deal, the whole DUI situation. That wasn't a DUI because he didn't get charged, whatever. So imagine the money, bro. Marijuana is about to, I'm gonna tell y'all this right now. Marijuana about to be on TV. Marijuana is gonna do the same thing for the NFL that it did for California. You know what that is? Save it. And not even save it. It might even add some more teams because it's untapped, it's untapped income. Nobody. And that's why we got the boat in the water here with square groupers. You know what I mean? It, literally, we out here, you know what I mean? We looking for the groupers. You know what I mean? So we appreciate all the groupers watching. You know what I mean? That's the folks that need to get this information like he's talking about. There is a ton of opportunity. You always hear the people talk about, oh, I wish I would have got ahead of that dot com industry, boom. 
Yeah, I mean, yeah. think about this. Look also, this. every Cannabis. every uh, you know what have you have you noticed a trend? Like about 30 years ago when all the pro athletes retired, they all got into car dealerships. Everybody had a car dealership. John yeah. Elway had a car dealership, Troy Aikman mm -hmm. had a car dealership, blah, blah, blah. Detroit. Everybody had car dealerships. You know what I'm saying? Then there was this wave where everybody was getting into into uh, real estate. You know what I'm saying? All these tycoons, Michael Irving got into real estate, all these getting construction. But then he realized, dang, you got to go to work when you're in real estate. You know what I'm saying? That's like getting up and go to work every day. Have you noticed that all these celebrities post-retirement are now getting into what? Marijuana. Oh, no, Gronkowski, Gronkowski did it when he left when he left the Pats. You know what I'm saying? Gronkowski was out there pushing it. You know what I'm saying? But I mean, but just think of that though. I mean, that you have the medical purposes and the much the, the monetary, bro. Hey, Dallas Cowboys are already ahead of it. You see what SI over there is talking about with Dak and um, you know, Roger Starbuck and depression and saving lives. So the writing is on the wall, man. Like what he's talking about. You're gonna see a cannabis logo or something to that effect maybe the cannabis cowboys logo over there like you see he got on his shirt on, on an nfl jersey it's going to happen it's money. like when stark when stark i mean who would have thought that jerry jones would legally be able to endorse a casino while owning an nfl team bro that just sounds weird to say <laughs> gambling, online gambling and weed are the best big tickets man if you don't know about it get around here and get woke on square groupers you know what i mean yep so, I mean, hey, man, and I, I don't even watch too many shows, but, man, I enjoy y'all content. Always enjoy it. Always watch it. Anytime I get an opportunity to share it, I always share it. You know what I'm saying? I feel like it's my, it's almost like, I almost like I have to, you know what I'm saying? Because this is an industry that I'm in. So, this is like, since I'm not doing shows on it, you know what I'm saying? This is kind of like my give back, you know what I'm saying? That I got to, you know, I got to support it, you know what I'm saying? And and more importantly, like, go ahead. I appreciate it. I was going to say, more importantly, before we get out of here, you know, we appreciate you having it. We knew it was going to be right up your alley, you know what I mean? Um, especially being on the West Coast, you know what I mean? Up there where the weed triangle is. And, you know, we'll say that for another show. But it's for the culture, man. This is what we've been doing here. We are not rookies at this. We have all been around. West Coast been around longer than us. But Bob and I in 16 in OAT. And like I said, when I discovered West Coast going live and added them to the group, you know what I mean? I didn't get to meet him until a couple of years later. But here it is now, almost five years later. Yes, we owe that as a give back. And that's part of the being built different is we're, you know what I mean, group network is we're trying to figure out these other 31 NFL fan bases. Do y'all got a West Coast out there? Because I got my money on my West Coast from the Dallas Cowboys. I don't know about them other 31 teams. Yeah. Bear in mind, too, when it comes to being able to uh, grow your own cannabis, it's a it's a really good thing. It's definitely something that's going to be winding up coming to the city. You might not be legal now, but eventually you're going to be legal. It's going to be legal everywhere, and so is cultivation. And cultivation is the one last thing that we will have as Americans to be able to control the product that we have. Dispensaries at some point are going to actually take care of it and say, hey, we're going to sell you what we want to sell you. But when you have the ability to buy your own genetics and grow the own can, your own medicine, the medicine that you like, not what is only offered at your dispensary every week, you're going to be a lot happier. I'm telling you right now. And, and like mm -hmm. I said before, I spent a lot of time learning what I learned to make sure that I could give the information to other people. This isn't something I'm going to keep to myself. I'm not going to be on the planet for, for 70 more years. I got to give this information to as many people as possible. And that's why I started all this. And, and, and it's one of our rights. So, I want y'all to think about that. If it's if it's time for you to start growing where you live right now, get in touch with me. I'm gonna make that happen for you. Hey, and I'm gonna tell you something too. Weed is like the the new industry. Weed is the only industry the United States government could really just overtax and they wouldn't even trip. You wanna know why? Because they've been overtaxing them and they ain't been tripping. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, if you go look at the taxes that a, a legal marijuana dispensary pays to sell marijuana versus a dispensary that a distillery that is that is creating alcohol <laughs> it is ridiculous. Like it is ridiculous the amount of money that they overtax marijuana. And you know what people do? They'd be like, I ain't tripping. I'm going to just pay it. <laughs> or, or you could get a medical cannabis card. You know what I mean? Like, I didn't know anything about it. And I was called a frequent shopper, too. No, I'm talking I mean? I'm talking about the dispensaries from the state, just from the oh, state. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the, yeah, the government tax. Yeah, no, it's and it's all that's, cash. That's what, that's you know what I'm mean? saying. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, like, and you, you know, think and, about it. Yep. It's, it's one of the most unsafest to work in if you're walking around with that much cash as a cannabis owner. Think about it. They can't do electronic banking. There's no federal law yeah. that allows them to do their banking. You know, I was at Planet 13 in Vegas and they do a, a ATM transaction at the counter where you don't have to take out cash, but they have to take out three dollars and give it to you, which you end up tipping them back anyway. But to allow you to do that so you don't have to go and get hit over the head five dollars to take out, you know, however much money. 
You know what I mean? And at 18, like the government's know, already doing it. They're yeah. already. That's why I said they're all. That's why I believe over the next. I will say this over the next 10 years, I believe that you will have at least at least 70 percent of the United. There's always going to be those those Bible Belt states. And I'm, I believe in Jesus Christ, too. So I'm just but I'm just saying, you know, those states like the you know, that are always going to hold to the to their more to their their code. And I'm not saying they're and I'm not saying it's right or wrong, but it, it, to their code. But I'm just saying like this. Other states, after everything is said and done with this with this Rona, people are going to look at 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 this as a cash cow like they're they're gonna look at that as a cash cow and it's an easy investment to to make some money you know what i'm saying so i definitely see i mean the government's already involved in it you know what i'm saying if you're, what's taxing, funny, you're already doing it and what's really what's really fucked up about it is is that in new jersey right now folks are still getting arrested for it yeah they're hitting people hard for cultivation too especially they do not want you growing there man they do not want that power but out they of just their got legalized so how does that work Bro, but, they're having to go through all of that right now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They got a, they got proved, then they got to write and do it. It's a lot of work, man, to get up an industry. You know what I mean? That's why we follow, you know what I mean? Before we get out of here, you guys need to follow marijuanamoment.net. That's what we follow here other than our network of resources that we talk to. But stay on the low low. You know what I'm saying? I get an email every 3.30 every morning. I pay $25 as a Patreon. So we had a lot of supporters on here today. So shout out to all the supporters, whether you're on the yeah, Facebook or the Patreon or you throw the stars over there, Facebook, what have you. You're supporting good content and good creators. We got a message around here, man. This is what it's about is advancing this shit for the culture, especially when it comes to veterans, because both West Coast and I served. You know what I mean? This is medicine to veterans. Yeah. Hey, and I, man, I 100 percent, 100 percent agree with that, man. One hundred percent. It should be free to veterans. Look, right big, look at this. I've been smoking this, and look at where it's at. You know what I'm saying? That's why I love backies. Like I, pro I'm not gonna finish this. You smoke a whole backy, you having a day, boy, <laughs> or a quick night. Yep, or a real quick night, man. Yes, sir. Before we wrap it up here, I said Brandon Redock. He had said that them socks was going or the gloves are going to go back out to Gladewater. Don't forget, I'm going to go back and tabulate all the shares. So the top share is going to get these gloves. These uh. Dallas Cowboy gloves here. You know what I mean? Top share of the hands that, that, that matter the most. You know what I mean? Appreciate that. And then secondly, you know what I mean? For the cannabis folks here, the second share, you're going to get these pair of socks. So make sure y'all comment, like, and subscribe, man. West Coast, tell how the folks that don't know who you are here, which I'm pretty sure they all do, but if they don't, how they can find you. Man, just type in West Coast on any social media network. And <laughs> man, I'm pretty good. I think I didn't got that space. So YouTube, type in West Coast. You're going to pop Facebook, Instagram. West Coast Cowboys, type in West oh, Coast Cowboy. Google any too. social network. And you got I'm Google too. Hmm? You, got Google, you got Google too. They can Google oh, yeah. You. Google too, man. Got Google, like Google pop up. It's going to be a dope article that pop up about me too, man. Check it out. So we throw it back over there to Bob, the Cannabis Cowboy, man. What do you got for us when we get out of here? Because thank you, man, West Coast, for showing us how to roll a backwood because I had some questions. You know what I mean? What do you say, Bob, before we get out of here? Shit, I'm a just I'm enjoying the grow that I've got going right now. I've got some dark devil auto flower growing right now from Sweet Seeds, which is a Chilean seed bank. These <laughs> auto flowers are already flowering. They're only 10 weeks old, and I'll probably have probably about four ounces from each plant here in the next four, <laughs> four or five weeks. That's how fast these auto flowers are going. I've got all the content just sitting right there, ready to, ready to be broken down to a video form for everybody. So if anybody's been looking for that content on my YouTube page, it's really just it's been strange. Strange spotlights and things like that because I haven't edited all that, but uh, I'm getting ready to harvest these these plants in about four weeks, and uh, it's because of all my patron on my patrons, and I really want to thank you so much for all that for keeping water in the soil. And uh, you know we're going to keep doing that. We're going to keep doing square groupers. I'm going to keep doing the uh, casually serious podcast too, and uh, we're just going to try and get as much content as we can out there and have some fun doing it, man. That's what's up, man. We appreciate everybody joining us here today on Square Groupers. It's a special edition, like we said. You know what I mean? Normally, we're not talking as much cowboy fans on Square Groupers, so make sure you subscribe to Bobby Cannabis Cowboys channel over there. We'll be live over there next week. We'll be going live here and doing some more things. I think uh, today's been kind of a an eye opener. Maybe West Coast and, and I can get over here and do some things. We got some things we're gonna do with the hitters, but we're breaking the new music here at the BDG. We're pushing it for the culture, not only for the fan bases of the NFL, but for um, just you know, people in general, you know what I mean? On what's right and getting on the right side of history, man. So we appreciate y'all tuning in and make sure you hit comment, like, and subscribe. And we'll see y'all on the next edition of Square Groupers on YouTube.